Hey, what is going on you guys? It's Reese from Spedster Reviews and today I'm unboxing the PlayStation 4 one terabyte edition. So I'm really excited to do this. I actually got this because of this game here, the Until Dawn. I've been wanting to play it and it doesn't come out on Xbox. So we'll start off with the box. The box is a really nice finish. It's got the blue PlayStation logo, PS4. It's got the console here. The stand isn't sold with it, but it's nice to know that you can actually stand this up vertically. One terabyte down the bottom there. Slide this a little bit closer. You've got all the triangles, squares, X's, circles. The DualShock 4. I'm pretty sure it's the DualShock 4 controller. The console itself. So, on the bottom, we've just got Sony, uh, Adobe True Digital HD Sound, DTS HD, HDMI, Java powered. I have no idea, that's probably disclaimer stuff. On the other side of the box, we've got PlayStation 4, the PlayStation logo, jet black, so it says the color of the console, and it's obviously the one terabyte model. Up the top, we've got the Sony logo. On the top of the box, we have Sony, PlayStation 4 in white, and we've also got jet black, one terabyte again. On the back of the box we have PlayStation 4, the best place to play. It has download and play, so obviously that's the PlayStation, I think Play Store or something they call it. You got PlayStation Plus down here, the DualShock 4 with the share function, uh, PSP Vita, or yeah, PS Vita they call it now. The PlayStation app, and you've also got PlayStation Music, Spotify, Netflix, YouTube, Blu-ray, PlayStation Video. It has got a few games on the back here. I think that that's obviously Batman. I think that's Uncharted. And I don't know what that game is. If you know what that game is, shoot it in the comment section. Uh, down the bottom here, General, EU. So I think that's Europe, PlayStation.com. Join the conversation, hashtag PS4. So let's open this bad boy up, shall we? And let's see what's inside. Up the tab on the side here. Open up the end of the box. Is this going to fold open or is it just going to, everything's just going to slide out? So I think everything's just going to slide out the side of the box. Now this is actually quite lighter. It's actually lighter than the 500 gigabyte model. Uh, for some reason, that's either a good thing or a bad thing. It's good by the fact the weight of the console is down lower or a bad thing by the fact that you get less in the actual box. But let's check it out. So the first thing we have, we have a HDMI cable. It's pretty awesome that consoles now supply this. I'm pretty sure it's mandatory now to have a HDMI cable supplied with the console. It's a bit stingy if they still give you AV. So we've got HDMI. We have the power adapter, but it's pretty much the standard one that PlayStation have been running for absolute years. We'll put that aside. We have, I think that's the little, yeah it is, it's the little charging, like a charge and play kit for the DualShock controller. I'm pretty sure the DualShock actually has a rechargeable battery. It doesn't have AA batteries in it. So that is that. We'll open them up later. We also have, well this one's already open, so let's check it out. That looks like a little headset with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So I dare say there's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack attachment for your controller. A little like volume or mic mic button, yeah that clicks up and down. Honestly I reckon you should get a little bit better quality than this, like Xbox at least give you a headset, Microsoft give you a headset, but you know this may do the job and it also clips onto you or you just put a, another headset in. Sit that to the side. Then we have the DualShock 4. Let me slide this bad boy out and let's check it out. Wow, that is a nice feeling controller. That is a really nice controller. This is better than the DualShock 3 by far. And, oh yeah, that clicks. This is my first experience with a PlayStation 4. I haven't actually seen one in person, so this is all new for me. So it's got the, it's like a little touchpad. I think you can do stuff on there. I know there's games that tell you not to move and stuff like Until Dawn. Uh, but this is a really good controller. Well, that is nice. And that is actually quite small. 
man, that is a small console. Like, opposed to the Xbox One, this thing is tiny. I don't know how small the Wii U is, but I didn't think the PlayStation was that small. Like, there's a controller on the actual console, but that, that thing is small. That's like, I think, three DualShock controllers high. And this one is completely matte black. Obviously the one terabyte like the Xbox One got the matte black finish, so it hasn't got any of the gloss on it. It's got a little bit of gloss here on the power button and the eject button. And they're actual pushable buttons, they're not touch sensitive. You get two USB ports in the front. You have your disk drive in the front. You have your little, I think that LED lights up blue or what it says on the box. On the side here, you have things that say HDMI, DTS, HD, Dolby Digital, or Dolby True Sound HD, Blu-ray disc. On the back, we have an optical, optical port, an aux port, HDMI out, Ethernet, and a power. So there's actually not a massive amount on the back of that, and a heap of ventilation. Like heaps of ventilation to try and keep this thing cool. On the other side of the console, it's actually got like a, I don't know if you can see that, maybe in the light, that's actually an indentation, so it lifts up. It's like a space for something, make room for something in there. And then it's got some more writing on the side of the console. And the HDMI cable, let's check this one out. Doesn't look like, like an overall massively high quality HDMI cable, but I don't know about you guys, I have actually heard that the quality of HDMI cables doesn't matter. And I've tested a fair few of them, not on this channel, but I've tested them just personally and I can't see the difference with them, with different bloody cables and stuff, so now this is Righto, HDMI cable's massive. It's about two meters, two and a half meters. That's it's a bloody long cable. This one is anyway, which I won't be using because I'll wrap that back up because I've already got HDMI cables coming out of my TV everywhere. But this is pretty much everything for my unboxing, guys. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. If you have any questions about the console, feel free to shoot them in the comment section and I'll try and get back to you guys. And until next time, guys, take care.